The legend began one afternoon in the early 1600s on the remote Scottish Isle of Lewis. According to the traditional account, a hardy Highland woman named Mrs. Mackenzie was grazing her herd of cattle along an old graveyard, when all at once the entire crop of tombstones wavered, creaked, and toppled to the ground. As Mrs. Mackenzie watched in frozen fascination, ghosts floated out of the ground and flew swiftly away. More intrigued than afraid, the Scottish woman waited to see what would happen. An hour later, all the ghosts but one had returned from their wanderings in the mortal realm. Mrs. Mackenzie placed her staff over the last open grave. Finally, the wraith of a young woman appeared and shrieked. Lift your staff from my grave and let me enter my dwelling of the dead. I shall do so when you explain to me what the danger is so long after your neighbors. My journey was much farther than this. I had to go all the way to Norway. I am a daughter of its king who was drowned while bathing. My body was carried up the sea and eventually swept onto the shore, not far from here. In remembrance of me, and as a small reward of your courage, I shall tell you where to find something of rare value. If you will search that rock over there, you will come across a small round new stone. Give it to your son. Who buy it shall see in the future. Mrs. Mackenzie found the mysterious treasure and presented it to her son. When he peered through a hole in the center of the stone, he found that the phantom had spoken the truth. Using this curious stone, a simple object drawn from nature, he could slice through the veils of time and divine what was to come. 